What is happening, buddy? This is Cody, a.k.a. DFS Prodigy, coming to you live, talking about this upcoming Thursday night football slate. It's going to be gross. It is Atlanta at Carolina. I don't even know what to think. This is just, it's it's bad. It's as bad as the Broncos playing on primetime. But we have football. We have money to be made. You know the spill. I mean, it is what it is. At least we have football. Um, so I'm leaning towards the Falcons in this spot. That's where I'm kind of leaning, but we'll dig into it before we begin though. Hit the like button for me. Definitely subscribe. Let's just hop right into the mix and see what we can make up. So starting up top on the Atlanta side, Cordell Patterson, he's back. I like the spot for him. He's Easily deserves to be the highest priced player. He has the most upside in the receiving and rushing um, style of play. I mean, we know he's a target monster, and when he is healthy, um, I like the ground game that he can bring. Also, I mean, this is this defense doesn't scare me. It's Carolina. I mean, it, it just doesn't scare me whatsoever. Marcus Mariota, Hawaii and Thunder. Um, we know he has upside. We've seen him play this Carolina team before and look good. I mean, as you can tell, he looked good on the ground when he played this Carolina team already in week eight. Um, I like the spot. I like the spot a ton. Drake out. Drake London. I can see it. I can see you liking it, but I kind of rather go to the pass catchers on the Panthers. I know that's scary to say, but I just like the ground game of this Atlanta team. Kyle Pitts, 7,000. He looked good against Carolina. This was his breakout game, so the ownership will be high on him once again in this matchup, but I do like him at 7,000. I like Tyler Algier at 6'2". He's still seeing run, even with Cordero Patterson back. Um, he's kind of just a GBP dart throw. And then I'm not really getting to Zacchaeus. I'm not really getting to the Falcons' defense. I'm not getting to Huntley. Koo at 4'2". I'm not going to just go elsewhere. So I'm kind of I am kind of leaning towards going to the possible Kyle Pitts captain and then locking and loading with my two studs, and that leaves me with five thousand left over. But we'll see how we can play this out. On the Carolina side, Baker Mayfield is the highest priced option, along with PJ Walker, and you have Sam Darnold. So it's the three quarterbacks all priced up. Um, PJ Walker starting. We know he has the ground game to do well. It's just I don't trust this spot at all. I I mean, I know he looked good when he played this Falcons team before, throwing for 317 yards. I, I know. But it's just can he do that again when he only got you 20 fantasy points? I don't know that just go elsewhere. DJ Moore, 9-2. He had a breakout game against this Falcons team. That means ownership is going to be held to him. But, again, can he do it again? I do like Terrence Marshall at 8-4. Um, he can do well. I mean, again, he's seeing more targets week by week. And then Foreman, 7-8. He had the breakout game also against Atlanta. I mean, the problem with this game is that we've seen this before, and that means that people are going to flock to who had the big game last time. I don't know if that's going to – I don't know that's how it's going to play out again. That's the problem. So – Kind of looking at it, we have to be really careful because we're going to need somebody to basically help with our ownership. Chubba Hubbard, he is back. So he could go into the role of cutting into Dante Foreman's. So at 5'8", I do like that. I do like that price tag. So the thing is, are you going to go heavy with the Falcons again? Or are we going to go heavy with Carolina? Because like I said, we saw this game before where this is a shootout and defenses didn't matter. So that's why it's kind of troubling in my mind how we're going to go about the slate because people are going to flock to, like I said, whoever has the highest ownership or whoever had the better game last game. So if you're taking a stand, you want to go full-fledged Atlanta? This is kind of the route I'm going with Kyle Pitts, Cordell Pratt, and Marcus Mariota, along with having Chubba Hubbard, because I think he will go into the role of John Foreman's. I think he will cut into it. Um, 
And we also didn't have Quero Patterson when they played Carolina last time. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays into effect of how the game flow is, how we can see this kind of going along with the offense on this team. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I know it's kind of an interesting slate, kind of hard to break down because we just don't know the parallel or the, we don't know the peripherals of how Cornell Patterson will go into effect against this Carolina team because last time was a shootout. So it's kind of what I'm thinking though. That's kind of where I'm leaning towards is a, a Falcons heavy, what, what Cordero Patterson in my lineups, but that breaks on the slate for us. So thank you for tuning in. I hope it's a great, safe rest of the night. Have a good one, everybody.